This video is a quick one that explains the relationship between partial derivatives and the backpropagation approach used widely in training artificial neural networks, including deep learning networks. So backpropagation may be a term that you've heard before. And in case it is, I want to explain a little bit more about what it is. So backpropagation is a term that we see frequently used in training artificial neural networks, particularly deep neural networks, deep learning networks. And this idea of backpropagation, you actually already know all of the underlying theory associated with it. It's just the chain rule of partial derivatives of cost. So that chain rule of partial derivatives of cost, like mean squared error cost, that we talked about in the preceding video in this Machine Learning Foundation series. That same chain rule of partial derivatives of cost with respect to our model parameters extends to the deepest neural networks, which may have thousands of layers. So in our example, in the examples that we've been working through in this Machine Learning Foundation series, in order to keep this foundational series as foundational as possible, we've been working with fitting a relatively simple line to eight data points. That's been the primary application of machine learning so far. But everything that we've covered, you know, the partial derivatives of cost with respect to model parameters, that concept, now that you understand it, having done it on a simple regression model that only has two parameters, slope m, y-intercept b, that exact same theory extends to deep neural networks, which might have millions or billions of model parameters spread across thousands of layers. So we had, I think, at most four nested functions in order to have our partial derivatives be multiplied against each other in a chain rule and give us mean squared error with respect to, say, the model parameter m. So yeah, so we only have like four layers of nested functions. A deep learning model might have thousands of layers with those millions or billions of model parameters in it, but yeah. You now have the theory. This isn't a deep learning course, but now if you go and study deep learning, the level of detail that they go into with respect to partial derivatives and linear algebra, all of that should make sense based on what we've covered so far. So just to kind of give you a high level idea of what's going on with backpropagation. So typically with deep learning models, we have large data sets. So, you know, you might have thousands or millions of training data points and you would split up those training data points into what we call mini batches. And we're gonna talk about this mini batching in a lot more detail in subject eight of this Machine Learning Foundation series on optimization. But for now, it suffices to say that we break up our large data set into smaller batches, and then we take a given batch. So we take our inputs, our X values from a given batch, and we perform a forward pass. So we've been doing this already. We Our forward pass, in this Machine Learning Foundation series so far has just involved regression, so m times x plus b. But it's the same idea with this forward pass through our neural network. So here is supposed to be a neural network with four layers in a simple diagram, but the theory is the same for thousands of layers. So this forward pass through the network, this can be called in deep learning terms, sometimes it's called forward propagation. But based on our x values, our inputs into the model on the left, through a number of layers of our neural network where each of these circles is a neuron. All each of those neurons has its own parameters. And by the end of the network, we have a y hat value, an estimate of y pop out. And then just like in the examples that we've been going into detail on recently in this Machine Learning Foundation series, you compare y hat to y with a cost function. It could very well be mean squared error cost. And then, based on that cost, you use in PyTorch or in TensorFlow, you use Autodiff to calculate the partial derivative of cost with respect to every single one of the model parameters in the model. So there could be millions or billions of those parameters. But the theory is the same of everything that we've just covered. And so that backward pass, that automatic differentiation, that in deep learning, is often called back propagation. So forward pass is from X through the network to give us our estimate Y hat. 
And then backpropagation is just that automatic differentiation, that calculation of cost with respect to each of our model parameters. And then we have that fourth and final step where we use gradient descent to actually adjust the parameters in our model. So they're split. There's two different kinds of parameters in a neural network. One's called weights, the other one's called biases. That doesn't really matter. That's beyond the detail of this machine learning foundations course, but all of those parameters get updated by gradient descent. So yeah, so this is really the same process as we've been going through. So we have step one, forward pass. Step two, use cost to compare our estimated output with the true output. Step three, perform automatic differentiation. And step four, perform gradient descent. Amazing. With that, we're almost done this segment on partial derivatives. There's only one topic remaining, higher order partial derivatives, and that's next.